Mourners laying flowers, also notes at the iconic Sparty statue. You're just looking for ways to honor these lives and yeah. express your sorrow. Nick Monticelli is there right outside of the Sparty statue this morning for us, Nick. Hey, Rhonda, you know what's interesting too is that students are expressing their grief, their sorrow, but also their anger with that rock painted how many more and the frustrating conversations about how many times does this have to happen. And those conversations are really starting to pick up. But before we go there, I want to remind you of, of what's right behind us here. There's the iconic Sparty and there is that memorial that is growing by the minute out here. All of this while there's new information about the shooter, Anthony McRae, and the notes that was found in his pockets. Wind and rain moving into East Lansing last night, not deterring students from building makeshift memorials, remembering the three MSU Spartans killed, Brian Frazier, Ariel Anderson, and Alexandria Werner, while five others remain in Sparrow Hospital. Students on campus will never forget the fear. All after the rampage caused by 43-year-old Anthony McRae. We still have no idea what the motive is. McRae's father saying his son turned evil and mean when his mother died two years ago. And new information this morning suggests he may have been planning more attacks. Investigators in Ewing, New Jersey say a note found in McRae's pocket made reference to two schools in that area. And a source closer to home says not only did the two-page note mention past shootings, it also said there were others like him to incite violence at other schools. How can we help everyone stay safe so that there isn't another superintendent giving this press conference, or more importantly, another set of parents that are getting this terrible grieving information? Back out here live looking at that memorial at the base of Sparty. There are, there, I should say, there are more vigils planned for this evening here on campus. I, I, I hear, I'm hearing about two of them, one here at Sparty and another at that rock that we were talking about earlier. So we'll get some more information about that as it kind of flushes out throughout the day. Also, as far as the campus goes, Berkey Hall and the MSU Union are still active crime scenes. They're still surrounded by police tape and there are still officers surrounding and posted up at every single entrance. So when the campus talked about, or the university talked about having campus operations back to normal by the end of the day today, I'm not sure if those two buildings are included in that. But they were talking about the dining halls and the bus schedules and trying to get the logistics of this campus back up and running because there are still students, of course, who live here. And of course, as you mentioned, classes are still canceled until Monday.